What's up guys, today I wanted to do an updated video on the Pixel 7 Pro. Uh, this has been one of my favorite phones this year. I use this phone a lot and oddly enough I use it a lot for video recording the YouTube shorts and stuff like that. Uh, which is funny because Pixels aren't necessarily known for video quality. But the reason why this sparked my interest is because of the price drop. So I think, what was it, four months ago this phone was used refurbished for like 669 uh, I believe and now you can find this phone for around $400 and I believe you can find it for even cheaper um, as well too. Uh, this phone is yeah it's trending for easily like around $400 easy and if you get it locked to a carrier I've seen them going for like $350 uh, but it is going to be like locked to a certain carrier but I still think that's a pretty good price drop uh, considering that uh, this phone is you know the latest flagship so uh, let's go ahead and dive into it All right, so the first thing I want to talk about since using this phone and really since the pixel 6 pro uh, since they introduced the 120 Hertz uh, this phone is just really really smooth guys um, I think one of the smoothest Android experiences uh, you can get I think it's smoother than the iPhone and even the Galaxy uh, S23 Ultra just as far as the animations and stuff like that uh, goes and also one of the cool thing about pixel phones is that uh, when Android betas come out like let's say for instance the Android 14 you're one of the first to get it and to test out the new features and stuff like that so it has a very clean experience now this is not going to be ideal for everybody um, since it's really not ideal for power users there's really not a lot of stuff uh, in stock Android that you can really take advantage of um, honestly Google does a lot of things well like the uh, you know speech to text and stuff like that um, but as far as customization you know Samsung's obviously gonna have you know uh, the pixel phones be especially with applications like good Lock and stuff like that but as far as overall animations and just soup feeling uh, just really smooth uh, the pixels are very very smooth alright so I do want to touch on the chip on here the Google uh, G2 uh, tensor chip on here uh, it's a pretty good chip for casual gaming obviously if you're a more extreme gamer you can play a game uh, you can get you know Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 phone um, because it's not going to do super impressive when it comes to benchmarks compared to the S23 or the iPhone uh, but the phone like I said is very smooth I think for the average person uh, being able to get a couple rounds in a Call of Duty uh, PUBG I even played Fortnite on here it did a pretty good job and this phone does not heat up too much and it's funny because with gaming this phone doesn't heat up uh, but if I'm recording video and stuff like that for like a long time like like I was telling you guys I film shorts with this phone if I'm out in the Sun I notice it'll actually like give a little heat warning uh, so that's one thing I did notice that I think they do need to fix is just addressing this phone sort of getting a little too hot outdoors um, but indoors, if I'm filming indoors with this phone, it seems fine. So the chip on here is really not that bad at all. Um, and like I said, the phone feels very fast. It feels just as fast as uh, any other phone, uh, honestly. Like I said, it might not be the best optimized or give off the best benchmarks, but the average person is really not going to notice too much of a difference. Like I said, unless you're like a real person that's gaming and doing uh, some intensive stuff on your phone. The screen on the Pixel is also a very good display here. It is an LTPO AMOLED display. It's 120 hertz, and it is a somewhat, you know, pretty big phone at 6.7 inches. And also, it's 4 1440p, 512 for the PPI. It's got the punch out in the middle, and it is a curved panel. Um, so the display experience on here is pretty good. I think the the max brightness on here is 1500 nits, so uh, you can pretty much you know see this phone outdoors pretty easily. So I've taken it outdoors a ton of time and had no issues with it. Um, the overall display is very very nice. It's very bright. It's colorful. Like I said, it's 120 hertz. It's LTPO, LTPO. So it goes all the way down to one hertz when you know. So overall, I think the display on here looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so I have no, honestly, no issues with this phone. It's a really, really nice looking uh, panel for sure. And the curve on here, you know, I think Google probably will end up dialing this curve back since most people really don't like the curve uh, phones. I don't mind it, but yeah, it can be a little bit uh, annoying to put screen protectors on these curved phones. Uh, but overall, I think the display on here is pretty good. I do want to touch on the camera so like I was telling you guys about the shorts here 
all my shorts are filmed actually on the pixel and i just really like the cameras on here so let's go ahead and touch on uh, that so the pixel does have a 50 megapixel standard it's got a 48 megapixel telephoto it also has five times optical zoom it also can go all the way up to 30 times zoom um, as well too and then you also have on here a ultra wide that is 12 megapixels that's using 4k 60 and then has a 10.8 ultra wide camera that's using 4k 60 um the only thing is i wish this phone shot in 8k i think that would be pretty cool they'll probably introduce it with the next pixel um but what i love about the cameras on this phone is google's image processing is just excellent really really good image processing i know um you know, everybody pretty much knows that, you know, Google has some of the best phones when it comes to just taking stills. Um, but like I said, I also thought this year the video was pretty decent as well on this phone. I really enjoyed the video. And I'm pretty sure if you put it in categories, the Pixel's not going to be the Galaxy or iPhones uh, when it comes to overall, like the camera experience. But um, I think it does a really good job uh, here with video this year. But also, like I said, with the steels, we know, guys, that you're going to get top-notch uh, quality when it comes to steel images. Uh, everything just looks fantastic here. Very good color on here. Great dynamic range. Google does an excellent job with skin tones as well, too. Uh, the ultra-wide is fantastic on here as well, too. And, um, yeah, there's just nothing I don't like about this camera. I think um, this is, like, the, one of the main phones I'll bring with me. If I know I'm going to go somewhere and take pictures, I just love where the colors and everything just comes out uh, on these Pixel phones, especially when it comes to skin tone. So I think they are obviously always do an excellent job with uh, stills, but I think the video ha is catching up as well, too. I think it's pretty solid video. I think one of my issues with the Pixel 7 Pro this year is the same issue I have with Samsung, uh, the base model. So the base model is 128 gigs and 8 gigs of RAM. I feel like for all flagship phones, it should be standard 12 gigs of RAM. I've always felt like that. And I I know this is kind of a stretch, but I feel like it should be 256 gigs as well too. Just because a lot of the video that a lot of us take and a lot of the stuff content we download. And I wonder if they refuse to do that because maybe they want to push people to cloud services and stuff like that on purpose maybe so you know i don't know um yeah so that's one thing and the fingerprint scanner it is it works pretty well and this year what i love about this phone is now you actually have the face unlock as well too you did not have that on the pixel 6 pro uh, but the fingerprint scanner works i don't i don't actually have an issue with this one it seems a little bit more responsive than uh, the Pixel 6 Pro for sure. So that's something that um, I really like. It doesn't feel like you have to add too much pressure uh, to it. And these speakers this year are pretty great as well too. We'll go ahead and max those out. So this one just has a really crystal clear sound, really clear bass. Um, I just think it's just really awesome sounding speaker. So if you cover the bottom one, you still get pretty good bass and uh, quality uh, out of the top speaker. And it just overall just a nice loud and full sound here. All right, lastly, let's talk about battery life here. So this is one of the areas where I think the Pixel does a decent job, but Definitely, I would like to see them sort of come on par with Samsung uh, this year. Samsung really knocked it out of the park. Very impressive. And I think a lot of that had to do with the chip. Just, you know, just optimizing the chip. And I think once Google does do it, I think this will have phenomenal battery life. Not that the battery life is bad, but it just feels like you get pretty average battery life on the Pixel 7 Pro. Standby time is just kind of okay. Um, screen on time, it definitely lasts a day, so around 6 hours, 6 hours and 30 minutes of screen on time uh, with this phone for sure. But like I said, it's nothing super impressive like we see on the Galaxy S23. And like I said, I think once Google keeps optimizing this chip and all that good stuff, then we'll see some pretty good battery life. Especially with running such a, you know, not, not you know, stock Android, it's not a heavy skin. So definitely would love to see that. But overall, you know, it's a very good phone. And the specs on the battery is 5,000 milliamps, 23 watt wire charging, which I think can definitely 
uh, needs to see an improvement at least to 45 watts and then it does have wireless charging and reverse wireless charging so I'm a big fan of the Pixel. I really love the design on here ever since they introduced it with the uh, Pixel 6 Pro with the very cool camera bar and I just really like that it has a, a really unique look to it. Um, you know, glass and metal, IP68, dust and water resistant. I think it's just a really nice uh, looking phone. Like I said, that's the biggest thing with this phone. It has a unique look when you look at it, you know it's a Pixel phone. Uh, so let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you guys in the next